everyone and welcome to Exhibit. My name is Prateek. We live in an ever-changing world and as we all know it, change is the only constant. If science is to be believed, every molecule in our body changes from five to six years. Why should cars be any exception? Meet the all-new Maruti Silerio. What has changed? Just about everything. But we're gonna take a look starting from the exterior. Targeted towards young professional, Maruti has redesigned the entire Silerio lineup. Now what you see here is a lot of rounded off edges, a new age design, which also comes is seen through in the headlights. There's a chrome grille that goes right up across. There's also curves and finer details with small curves everywhere across the car, right from the body panel to even the bonnet area. The wheel arches are neatly designed to give a sense of bulge without actually protruding. The most exciting section is how the curves on the front and rear doors make the car look like a concept design made real for the masses. There are curves all across the interior of this car, from the doors, body panels and even the engine hatch. The new Celerio is a 55mm wider than before. Also, its wheelbase is now 10mm longer, making it 2435mm. The tail section is inspired and to an extent looks like a shrunk down version of the Baleno. Our top of the line ZXI Plus variant also comes equipped with keyless entry assist next to a conventional upward pull door handle. What comes exclusively to the ZXI Plus variant are the 15 inch alloy rims with 175 section Yokohama tyres. While we drive the manual transmission, do not forget to check out our AMT AGS video on Top Gear India official channels. What we have here is the ZXI Plus variant of the Maruti Silerio. The beauty of this dash is these that the design curves that you see on the outside also translate on the inside too. What you'll find is that the design flows on the dashboard and everything comes down to your center console. You have a, this is the ZXI Plus variant, so you have a seven inch touch infotainment system with Android Auto and CarPlay, but this is wired. So you have a USB and an aux port right here with a 12 volt socket right here. Now, the windows controls have now come in the middle along with a hazard light. The OVRM controls are now near the steering wheel for the driver's side. What's not really good though, is that the rear window controls have been given right here. So the driver has to either feel them or it is a task for the rear passengers to do. Getting into the rear seat of the Maruti Celerio is also a pretty easy task thanks to these cuts that they have uh, on the seat allowing easy access. That said, I'm five feet eight and a half. The headroom is just about ample for me and there's good amount of leg space considering the size of this particular car. Three people would be a tight fit, but it is possible. The rear passengers get a fixed headrest, just like the front passengers. At the rear, there's no AC vents. There's nothing apart from just these window controls. Something weird we found out is that there's a, there's a document holder in the passenger seat, but there is nothing, absolutely nothing, on the driver's seat of the Maruti Celerio. The Celerio comes with a 313 litres of boot space along with a full-size spare wheel. With ARAI figures of over 25 kilometres per litre and such a large boot space, we still wonder why did this car not come with a CNG option? The first thing you'll notice is the k c engine. This engine has been tuned differently than the other K-series engine. Yes, it still has that pep. Yes, it is refined by today's standards. But at the same time, if you push it hard, there's a lot of noise that translates and comes back into the cable. What you will really like and people who would, who would love to drive would really like is if you're, take, if you're going for long routes, there's a dead pedal given even in the manual transmission, which is a boon for long distance travels. Secondly, what you'll find out is the steering feedback is precise. The steering feels absolutely light. Sitting in the driver's seat is a very comfortable uh, ordeal. No matter where, even if you're cornering around or carrying high speeds through the corners, which ideally is not the best thing to do in a scenario, but then when you're on a highway, you would be. So 
these seats they have these contours they feel like bucket seats and they hug you hug you well in there i wish there was a there was a little uh, bit more thigh support but then uh, i think it's something subjective to every driver that sits on this driver seat the gearbox feels slick it is precise but the clutch feel although on the lighter side can sometimes require a full press to get these gears engaged the celerio manages to bump out most of these undulations on the roads pretty well for the segment that it has launched in with the new k10 series engine introduced in the new celerio loaded with creature comforts and a new target audience in mind the new celerio looks like a promising package from maruti what do you feel about this particular car let us know in the comment section below also if you like this video hit the like and do subscribe for more such videos 